Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. The Synod frequently insisted on the need for a prayerful approach to the sacred text as fundamental element in the spiritual life of every believer in the various ministries and states in life with particular reference to Lectio Divina. Ang ibig kong mangyari ay palalimin ang spirituality ng mga clergy at laity sa Diocese of Antipolo. Sabi nga ni St. Jerome, Ignorance of the Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Kaya nga, pupunta sa inyong mga parokya ang mga laity na may kasamang mga pare upang ituro unang-una sa inyong Paris Pastoral Council ang pamamaraan ng Lectio Divina, ituturo nila sa iba't ibang mga organization at ministries at sana makaabot hanggang sa periperis ng inyong parokya upang dumating ng araw lahat na tayo gagawa nito. Isang mapagpalang buhay para sa ating lahat. Buhay na pinagpala na galing sa kapangyarihan ng salita ng Diyos. Nilikha niya ang lahat sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng salita. At higit sa kapangyarihan ng salitang lumikha, ang salita ay naging tao at nakipanayam sa atin. Niyakap niya ang ating pagkatao at sa pagyakap niya sa ating pagkatao, nabigyan niya tayo ng pagkakataong yakapin ang Diyos. Ang leksyo divina sa kapangyarihan ng banal na spirito, hinahayaan niya tayo na ang layunin ay makita ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay ayon sa mismong pananaw ng Diyos. Let this be our prayer. Lord, allow me to see the way you see. Allow me to know the way you know. Allow me to understand the way you understand. Allow the word of Jesus to transform us into the very heart of the Lord. Puso ni Jesus, pag-iisip ni Jesus, pananaw ni Jesus. Ito ang nilalayon ng pagdiriwang ng Leksyo Divina. Mayroon tayong apat na pamamaraan na makatutulong sa pagdiriwang ng Leksyo Divina. Sa Leksyo Divina, ang Diyos ang magtuturo ng lahat. Leksyo. Ano ang sinasabi ng pagbasa? Basahin ng bukas ang puso. Bigyang pansin ang kapaligirang nakasaad sa kwento ang mga taong nakasangkot. Mga salitang ginamit ang daloy ng kwento. Pasukin ang kwento. Meditatio. Ano ang sinasabi ng Ibanghelyo sa atin? May mensahe bang katulad ng sa ating kwento sa buhay? Maaaring sunda ng pangyayari, nasaan tayo dito? Sino ka dito? Habang nagsasalita si Jesus, ano ang iyong naririnig? Dito papasok ang karanasan ng pagtatagpo ng puso ng tao at ng kalooban ng Diyos. Oracho, panalangin sa mga narinig nating sinabi ng Diyos, ano ang tugon natin sa Diyos? Inaanyayahan tayong itaas natin ang ating kalooban sa Kanya. Ang tugon sa tawag ng Diyos. Ang tugon sa Kanyang sinasabi. Ang tugon sa Kanyang salita. Ang panalangin ito mga kapatid ay lalong magaganap na napakaganda sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. Contemplatio. Sa paanong paraan binago ng pagbasa ang ating pananaw sa buhay at itong pagtingin ito ang siyang mag-aakay sa atin sa kung anong konkretong pagkilos ang ating gagawin bilang pagtugon sa turo ng Diyos na hubuhubo sa atin. Leksyo Divina invites us to have a deeper communion with God. I am the vine You are the branches. Every time branches are connected to the vine, we will bear much fruit. Ang Leksyo Divina, idinudugtong tayo ng mas malalim sa puso ng Diyos. 
kung saan ang kalooban ng Diyos ang siya rin nating nagiging kalooban. Ano nga ba ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ang gumawa ng mabuti, ang magmahal, ang maglingkod, isa buhay kung ano ang kanyang niluloob. Ito ang layunin ng Leksyon Divino. I've been serving God for almost 40 years now. And if I forget my why, why I do what I do, why I serve, why I preach, why I get up in the morning, everything is gone. And the only way for me to rediscover and embrace my why is by getting into the Word, by listening to His voice through Scripture and in the depths of my heart. Go forth and serve God. Be His light in the world by allowing His light to shine every day through Lectio Divina.
Today we celebrate the baptism of our Lord and our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balagbat. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the peace and healing in our country. We also pray for the healing of Manuel Senio Nicole Tresvales. And we also pray for all the birthday celebrants today. The birthday of Olympia de la Cruz who is celebrating her 102nd birth anniversary. So praise God. So 102 na po siya. No? Doblihin man yung edad natin. Hindi pa aabot. What a blessing. So happy birthday uh, Lola Olympia. And we also pray for all the souls in purgatory. We include in our prayers Attorney Enrique M. Reyes, Lucia Manalansan, Anselmo Balatbat, Father Larry Sarmiento, Father Nomer De Lumen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him with your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord of mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. 
For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not, but, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now, the testimony of God is this, that He has testified on behalf of His Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what he proclaimed, one mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Today we are celebrating the the feast of the Lord's baptism. So in our liturgy, Christmas will end today. But in the Philippines, we were given the permission to celebrate Christmas until the third Sunday of January. On the feast of the Santo Nino, the Lord's baptism. Kailangan nga ba siyang binyagan? God revealed His Son to us. The moments of His revelation, showing the glory of God who emptied Himself. One on the first on the solemnity of the Epiphany. Today on the Feast of the Lord's Baptism and another revelation is on the wedding at Cana where He proclaimed and revealed Himself as the Son of God. Baptism of the Lord. He became one like of us except sin. Ang kanyang pagbibinyag ay hindi para tanggalin ang kanyang kasalanan sapagkat wala naman siyang kasalanan. Kung titingnan natin ang pagbibinyag doon, siya'y inilulubog sa lupa, ay sa, sa tubig, immersion in the water. Sabi nila, kapag karaw gusto mong matutong lumangoy, kailangan mong mabasa. Paglubog sa tubig. Ang tubig, maliban sa simbolo ng paglilinis, naging simbolo ito ng kinatatakutang lugar, lalo na noong panahon ni Jesus. Paano ginunaw ng Diyos ang mundo noong panahon ni Noe sa pamamagitan ng tubig? Noong hinahabol ng mga taga ehip to ang mga Israelita upang sila ay makatakas anong naganap sa panahon ni Moses na hati ang dagat. And now we see Jesus walking above the water meaning to say Jesus is above our suffering. Jesus is more powerful than the sum of all our fears. And now in the Lord's baptism we see Jesus being immersed in the water. Siya'y lumubog sa tubig. Through His baptism, the Lord showed us that He truly wants to reach out to us and to rescue us from our sin. Ang kanyang paglubog ay pagyakap sa ating kamatayan at ang pag-ahon niya sa tubig ay simbolo ng pagkabuhay. We can only understand the baptism of the Lord in the light of His mission, His passion, death, and resurrection. So, the Lord's baptism is just one way of saying na palayo ka man sa akin, aking minamahal, ang aking pasya'y 
lapitan ka kahit sa iyong kamatayan at ialay ang pagkabuhay kahit ito'y katumbas ng aking buong buhay. That is what the Lord is telling us. You know, there is a theologian says, everything is sacred. Jesus is taking on the sin of humanity. Inaako niya ang ating kasalanan. Inaako niya ang ating kahihiyan. That's why no one was greater than the baptism of Jesus because He decided to bear all the sins of every human kind. Inako ang kahihiyan, niyakap maging ang kamatayan, Kaya ito'y naging isang banal. The baptism of the Lord creates a new possibility of communication between God and humanity. Paano tayo inabot ng Diyos? Sa pagbasa ngayon, first step, opening of the heavens. Second, the dove descent like of the Spirit. And then we heard the voice. And in the voice, the voice identifies Jesus in three ways. My Son, the Beloved, the One whom God is well pleased. Here, God revealed Himself, ang aking minamahal na anak, labis kong kinalulugdan. Kaya kung titingnan natin ang kanyang pagbibinyag, ito'y pagpapakilala kung sino nga ang sa atin ay Diyos. Because God immersed Himself in the water, in our pain, in our own shame, God is very much attentive to us than all we are attentive to ourselves. And not only He is attentive to every detail, He is very deeply concerned about every detail of our life. Paano inako ng Diyos ang ating kasalanan kung wala naman siyang kasalanan? Isang magulang ang lumapit sa akin, kulang na lang niya itong kanyang ikamatay sapagkat ang kanyang anak ay nagkasala ng isang pagpatay. Kanyang anak na pumatay. Kanyang anak na nagbigay ng sakit sa lipunan. Kasalanan ng anak na ramdaman ng magulang. Na tila ang kahihiyan ng kanyang anak ang siyang naging kanyang kahihiyan. Pag ako sa kasalanan ng minamahal na anak. And try to imagine kung papaano inako ng Diyos ang kahihiyan at kasalanan ng bawat tao. Kaya kailangan siyang binyagan upang sabihin sa iyong pagkakasala, sa iyong kahihiyan, Ikay aking palalayain ang lahat ng iyong kahihiyan, aking aakuin. That is the meaning of the Lord's baptism. 
And from that move, you will hear the voice, This is my beloved Son. We also share in baptism, we become like Jesus. He is the beloved Son. And through the sacrament of baptism, we become the beloved children. Kung ano ang kanyang ginawang pag-ako, iturin ang apaanyaya sa lahat kung papaanong ang pagkakamali ng bawat tao atin ding aakuin ating yayakapin. When we have come to believe in the voice that calls us wordless, unlovable, then success, popularity, and power are easily perceived as attractive solutions to the rejection. You are not rejected. You are the beloved. Self-rejection is the greatest enemy of the spiritual life because it contradicts the sacred voice that calls us the beloved. The beloved is there. We are the beloved because God embraced all our shame. Being the beloved is the experience of the core truth of our existence. Let the feast of the baptism of the Lord invites us to redefine who we are. Listen attentively to the voice. Hindi ka baliwala. Hindi ka walang, hindi ikaw ay walang kwenta. Hindi ka patapon sapagkat ang Diyos maging ang ating kahihiyan, Kanyang niyakap upang palayain tayo sa paniniwalang wala tayong halaga, wala tayong kwenta. Ano ang iyong halaga? Ang halaga ng bawat tao ay katumbas ng buhay ng Diyos. Lulusong ako sa ilog ng takot ng iyong kam- takot sa kamatayan upang ikaw ay aking palayain at mabuhay ng walang hanggan kahit ang katumbas nito ay pagbubuwis ng aking buhay. Kahihiyan mo'y aking aakuin upang mapalaya ka sa pagkaalipin. Mabuhay ka, mahal ko. Huwag kang matakot sapagkat akong iyong Diyos, buhay ko ang lakas mo pag mamahal ko'y ang sandigan mo. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus came to be baptized in the Jordan so that through the cleansing waters of baptism, He might heal our sinful nature. Let us now pray to the Father that we may live up to our dignity as children of God. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May the people of God have a renewed appreciation of the sacrament of baptism, which constitutes the foundation of communion and mission among all Christians. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. May each of us faithful to our baptismal calling to be other Christ, who continue his mission by doing and being good to people around us. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. May parents and godparents be faithful to their duty to help bring up children in the knowledge of faith and in obedience to God's commandments. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. May those who consecrate their lives to God abandon everything and consider all else as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. May the Lord keep in safety those who travel today, give comfort to the sick and the suffering, and welcome to paradise the faithful departed. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him, who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her 
to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Francisco our Bishop, Noli his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in His sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with this sacred gift, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in the name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on immaculate us. heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.